Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a jungle inspired look because I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, it starts tonight on TV. If you don't live in the UK and you're thinking what on earth is she talking about, um, I'm a celeb is this program where celebrities go into the jungle and they do challenges that involve eating insects, having snakes and rats thrown on them, being buried in a coffin with animals all around um, inside the coffin with you. Um, just doing basic challenges like that for their food that they have to earn to live in the jungle. So it sounds a bit of a crazy concept, but to us British, this is like the programme of the year. Everyone looks forward to it so much. And also it's the first sign of Christmas for us because we know when I'm a celeb starts, Christmas is on its way. So everybody's getting really cosy tonight and watching it. I'm gonna do a greenish look for my eyes. We're all gonna get cosy and watch it together. I'm actually not singing tonight as well. So whoop, very exciting for me. So um, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with the Milani two-in-one foundation and concealer. This is my favorite foundation at the moment. It makes you look really glowy and just gives you a really healthy look. And then I think we'll just have like a little chit chat about I'm a celeb for those that are really excited about it. The person that I am most excited for is definitely Caitlyn Jenner. Um, I'm so obsessed with the Kardashians, it's not even funny. So I'm really excited to see how she'll do. The only thing that I'm thinking is she's probably gonna be exempt from all the trials um, because of her age. So I'm not getting my hopes up for that, but I think it'll be interesting when they get to sit down and speak to each other. Just the dynamic of all the celebrities, I think she'll be very interesting. And, you know, she's been known for being a bit of a diva, so we'll have to see if that comes out. I've got a spot right on a mole on my face and it's just not a good look at all. I'm also so excited to just chill with my family because I usually work Sunday nights. So this is like such an exciting night for me, <laughs> just chilling and doing nothing and watching TV when I'm usually out at nine o'clock with a dress on, freezing in my car with my legs out, because um, it's currently like three degrees here in Britain. So it's really nice to get cozy and warm and not have to worry about going out. And I always get dead jealous of when I'm driving and I see people cozied up on the sofa in the houses. And I'm like, oh, I wish that was me. So tonight it is me, yay. I'm gonna quickly just shove on some concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-sculpt, multi-use sculpting concealer. Such a long name. Oh, this piece of hair that has just been in the middle of my face for about a week. No matter where I put it, it just creeps back. Just like one strand of hair. It's weird. I've actually stopped putting so much concealer on my face as well because you only need concealer, you know, where you actually have dark shadows or spots or dark circles. You don't need it absolutely everywhere. I've just put quite a bit on actually after saying that, but you know, just a little bit less. will just help your skin breathe a little bit more. I've been getting more spots than usual. I don't usually get many spots. And I'm putting it down to not washing my makeup brushes because they've gone maybe three, four weeks now without being washed. And I usually wash them weekly or fortnightly. And I can tell massively. I'm getting just random huge spots everywhere. I need to wash them ASAP. Then using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, just use a tiny bit on my eyes just to set the creases under here. Oh, actually, oh my God, they're not creased. They've creased like the tiniest bit. That's amazing, normally like everywhere. And then around my nose, just a tiny bit everywhere else. I try not to use powder because I have dry skin. So it's not really my thing. Onto the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blusher. If you watch my videos, you'll know how obsessed I am with this blusher. I'm not picking up anything else. I just literally go for this every single day. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the shade of pink, but it's so pretty. It's got a tiny bit of a glow, but not too much. It's not overbearing. And it makes you look like that is the definition of health to me. Just this color right here. I love it. Let's do the eyebrows. This is a um, longwear pomade from Kat Von D. Attempt to do this with a very far away mirror. I know that Adele from Radio 1 is going in the jungle tonight as well. And it's like these people have their loyal fans on the radio and you just know that their careers are just gonna 
take off massively after this because a lot of people don't even know what she looks like. So it's interesting to see where their career will go. And what's also interesting to me is the, the celebs that you really don't care about and you're like, I don't know who this person is, you end up really liking for the personality. And I might not be excited about them now, but later on they might be my favourite, so it's interesting. And what's also huge about this year's programme is that they've decided not to eat any live critters this year. So last year they ate, still ate live mealworms, but they've decided to get rid of that completely this year. Obviously, people protest about it and they say how disgusting it is that, you know, we're using animal cruelty or insect cruelty for entertainment. And it is really wrong if you think about it. So I'm glad that they've got rid of that this year. You know, it shouldn't really be something that we're entertained by. I'm just going to use the Jouer Light to Medium Duo Bronzer and I'm not going to go crazy with this, just like a kind of thin brush, tiny bit of contouring, nothing too striking, just to warm up the face. I love just warming up the forehead at the moment, just making it look a little bit smaller with the bronzer. Oh god, if you make a mistake, get your beauty blender and cover it up. And then under the jaw and then I just like to do a tiny bit on the nose just to give it some shape and so that it doesn't look odd compared with the rest of the bronzed face. And I just like to clean up that with some concealer. And then we're gonna do the eyes. So I'm using the P. Louise base. This is such a good eyeshadow base. Tiny bit on a beauty blender and blend into the lid. I'm thinking like green shimmers and green mattes for today. Just in with the jungle theme. And I'm going to use my favourite, I know I keep banging on about this palette, but it's brilliant. It's the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. We're going to be using the greens down here. Let's start with what's the tea, because it's kind of like a khaki colour. Using a fluffy brush. I'm just going to put that in the crease. And the thing about having a wet base is that it looks patchy when you put it on. But a tiny bit of blending and you are on your way. I'm really excited that Ant and Deck are back together this year. I know a lot of people are like saying, you know, Ant shouldn't be forgiven for what he's done. I mean, he was drink driving and he had a crash. But I mean, he was in a really dark place and he has shown how, you know, sorry he is and he's done so much work on himself. You know, he obviously just, it all just got too much for him. Um, and I think that he's just done such a great job of getting back on his feet. He went to rehab. And he stayed there until he felt like he was, you know, himself again. We all know how much mental health is affecting everyone at the moment, um, especially with social media, and it just gets too much sometimes. So I'm really happy that he is back with us, and everybody loves them as a duo. They are just legendary. I think when they die, oh my God, they're going to go down as absolute legends. They're going to have statues. They're just icons, aren't they? Absolutely incredible presenters and what I love about them is that they really learn their scripts so it's more like they are a comedy duo you know as opposed to just a presenter that's reading something off an autocue they've got it all down they do scripted sketches on the program and I just think that adds to it so much it was so funny and then gonna use a flat brush now oh, my voice has gone all croaky and I'm gonna put the shade Nate which is this bright green I'm using a flat brush I'm just gonna put it on the crease Kind of patting it on and then we'll blend out. I think last year's I'm a Celeb was a little bit too tame with how they got on with every everybody. Everyone just got on so well. And I do think a good argument just really helps the show and makes it more interesting. I just love a good clash, you know, when people are starving because I know I get so hangry and I let my emotions take over every single time I'm starving and I need something to eat. So when I don't see people reacting like that, I'm like, what is wrong with you? How do you control yourself when you're that hungry? So, yeah, I need something to relate to, really. I need someone to relate to. So I'm just blending that in with the What's the Tea. I'm just gonna make sure there's no line here. We want to make it all blend nicely. I also think the girl from EastEnders that's going in, Jacqueline, is it? I think she's gonna do really well because she'll get a young fan base. Well, to be honest, no. People that watch soaps tend to be a bit older. But I think she will win a younger fan base just with her personality. So I think she'll do well. And Kate Garraway from Good Morning Britain, like, to me, it looked like she had been in a jungle outfit all of her life. It just looked so natural for her to be 
in a jungle top, you know, having a photo shoot. I don't know why, because she's never been on it, but I feel like she already has been. I know her colleagues have been in before, but I mean, I think, if I'm honest, she's going to be the boring one. I really do think she's going to be the mediator, she's going to be the cook, maybe. You know, the one that's just like, I'm the mum, I'll look after you all, don't fight, don't argue. We need a Kim Woodburn in there again. Kim is my life. I am actually obsessed with Kim Woodburn. She's doing videos for £50 where she just says like happy birthday or Merry Christmas Emma. She says your name and you get, you know, she gets 50 quid for it. And I'm like, go on girl, you know, you're like 75 and you're just earning your dollar, go for it. Right, and then you might think I'm a bit mental because I'm gonna cover up the whole eyelid where we've just been blending. I'm just gonna keep the crease visible because we wanna put a huge glittery shimmer in the middle. Also, we need a character like Gillian McKeith in there that's just like point blank refusing to do the trials, fainting everywhere. You know, she basically did a fake faint last year and that was absolutely hilarious. She just brought the entertainment there. And I love it when Ant and Deck are like panicking and like, oh my God, we're gonna go to a break right now. Like, that makes good TV. Let's go with drive through. We're gonna go a bit smoky and dark. So I'm gonna try my finger first, see how that looks on the lid. Oh yes, yes. I don't think we need to wet a brush. I think the finger will suffice. Oh, look at that, look at that. Kim Woodburn has been speaking about um, when they have leeches on them, like when a leech kind of grabs onto them in the jungle, that they have to just shout leech as loud as they can. And then the doctor, is it Dr. Bob? He comes down and just like has to get some, like some tweezers in there and pull the head out as well as the body because the head can, um, stay in the body and infect it and it just makes you think god these things that happen to them how can you go to sleep at night in the jungle with snakes and stuff around you and they have to shout snake even if it's a tiny snake as well because it could be like one of the most poisonous ones in Australia I could not sleep I would just be there with my eyes open like oh my god what is that and I'd be constantly itching from spiders the people that go on I'm a celeb and say how terrified they are of spiders why are you telling that to the producers? They're just gonna give you a spider trial? Like, don't do that. Just be like, I'm not scared of anything, don't worry. It's gonna do some clean up because it's looking a little messy. I do want to deepen it up, so we're gonna go with the wood of the tree now in the jungle. This is a high dude, not gonna lie, not your best name there, Jeffrey. I'm using a pencil brush. I'm just gonna try and deepen it up, and what I'm doing is making sure you can't see where the shimmer ends at the end here making it look seamless and blended. But this brown has not been too good to me. So I'm trying to make sure it doesn't go patchy. And then as carefully as I can, I don't want any patchiness. So yeah, in summary, I'm just hoping for a bit of a kick off tonight. Well, not tonight, but as the weeks go on, as people get annoyed with each other, as people get starving. And you know, people refuse to do the trials. That is good for us because then we get to see the action unfold when they're all kicking off with each other. What I really love about I'm a Celeb is later on when they get rewarded with like a whole three course meal, how happy they are and like how elated they are over like a little chocolate bar or something. And that makes you think like, God, I wanna do that. I wanna detox, starve myself for a week and then just like enjoy one chocolate bar like I've never enjoyed it before. Okay, we are looking jungly. Just gonna use what I've got on that pencil brush to just go underneath here. You know what, this is boring. I need to do something exciting on the eye. I need a pot of colour. I'm gonna get this detailing brush. I'm gonna dip into Wake and Bake. I'm gonna put it on the inside of the eyelid. Let's try a bit of Steel and Magnificent Metals. We're gonna try and see if this will show up. So I've added this gold glitter line just because this stands for glamorous celebrities. That's what I'm going with. Trying to get them even is the bane of my life. Possibly ruined the look there, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. Right, I'm just using that What's the Tea. I'm gonna go under here again to create some depth. And then I'm just gonna put a really thin line of black liner just so I can get the lashes on. It looks better when you do this. Just give your lashes a bit of leeway if they're not exactly at your lash line. The thing that is most scary for me about I'm a Celebrity is the jumping out of the plane thing at the beginning. Like, I just don't think I could do that. 
I know that when it was over, I would love it and I'd have an adrenaline rush and I'd be like, I want to do it again. But the fear and just the willingness to throw yourself out of a plane, it's just something that I couldn't ever imagine being able to do. I hate the feeling of a drop. I just don't like the feeling of dropping. I think it's horrendous. If the parachute, you know, doesn't come out, like, could you imagine just doing something for fun and then dying at the end of it? It's like, ugh. It makes me panic so much. The fact that you can't clean yourself in that jungle, like Kim Woodburn, I keep going on about Kim, but I do love her. She was saying how you are genuinely washing yourself with dirty water that has leeches in it. So, you know, you're not playing out there. It is seriously dirty. I can't talk when I do lashes. I just have to concentrate so much. Oh no, it's flying. It's gone flying across the room. I hate that when it takes you about half an hour to find the eyelash in the carpet. Look at the difference there. It's crazy. Crazy! My sister's got such long curly eyelashes. I hate her. She doesn't even have to wear lashes usually. She's just like, I'll just put some mascara on and I'm out the door. Okay, lashes are on. Sharpen this MAC World Lip Liner. I think it's very woody and brown for the jungle wood. And what's sad about Caitlyn Jenner as well is I think she will be so devery that she'll walk out after a week. I just think she'll realise what she's got herself into and she'll quit because, I mean, yeah, she might have been an Olympic athlete when she was younger, but I think she's become very deverish after living with the Kardashians for so long. So I've just coloured that in. Then I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour in Mocha Thin Layer. I love it when I do this lip colour because it's like 90s vibes, like Aaliyah or J-Lo. To finish this look off, I'm going to go for Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Highlighter. Never use this because it falls all over your face, but we are going to try today. I'm going to wet the brush. I'm going to hope for the best. This looks terrible in real life, but the camera light is picking it up. I actually want to put some lip gloss on, I think. It's just going to use the Morphe Flower Girl lip gloss. And that, guys, is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, leave us a comment, and give us a thumbs up. And I would love you forever. See you soon. Enjoy I'm a Celebrity. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.